So we are here today to consult the, the current document, blueprint, norms and standard uh, for secure care centers. Uh, the document was initially formulated in 2010 uh, as a result of the gaps that were identified around 2007-2008 uh, for children that were deemed to be in need of, to be, that were deemed to be in conflict with the law. And that is one of the, 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 the example that I can easily make. So that could have been prevalent back then. But currently, uh, the clients or the gaps that we have identified in our secure care centers is that we are admitting children who are raping other children or elderly people, uh, children that have committed murder, uh, children that are hijacking, uh, children that are pregnant, uh, children that are doing various of uh, behaviors, uh, be shoplifting being one of it, because it's still prevalence, and uh, the, your housebreaking can be also be another reason why these children are referred to our institution. So basically, the, the, the document needs to take into cognizance that to, the, to those dynamics, as well as the, the children that we are currently admitting. Uh, we are also admitting children with disabilities. We are also admitting children who are having conduct disorder, which might not be an issue back in 2007, 2008. So we are saying uh, the document should look at that and also check maybe the, the quality of skills uh, for children with care workers that needs to be employed by DSD so that they can render the quality services uh, to those particular uh, young children so that we respond to their needs. Because uh, as much as we are living in uh, the current world, a lot of uh, developments have taken place and we are revolving, the profession has been revolving. So basically this document must also look at the professionals or discipline that needs to directly work with these children uh, being the qualified social workers, qualified child and youth care workers, qualified uh, nurses, uh, qualified uh, OTs, psychologists and so forth. So we hope that uh, by the end of tomorrow, uh, we'll be able to dissect those issues so that at the end of the day, uh, we respond uh, immaculately to, to the needs of these children in our secure care centers. Thank you.